This is Robert from Merit Systems International, and it is the 26th of April on Monday, 2021. And today we're going to take a look at the uh, new administer assessment uh, screen, completely rewritten, completely redone. And in order to get there, you, you do it just like you used to. Uh, click on Administer View Assessments. The top option is to administer an assessment. And you notice that there's three items missing here. They've been incorporated into that form. Um, and things are much easier now. When you click on this option, you're going to be taken to a launch screen. And this is the launch screen you're going to see. Um, you'll notice that there's two white columns. The one to the left is for paper and on-screen use. The one for uh, in the middle is for remote assessment use only. I've separated the two out because by doing so, now I can put all of these together. You can check them all. You don't have to go to a different screen to use it, and it makes it much easier. So let's look at this first. It's really straightforward. You have two options you have to uh, select. One is on screen or paper. You have to select one or the other and then one of the assessments, whichever one you want to do. So this would give you anger diagnosis by paper reentry where you fill in the boxes. That's all there is to it. There's an advisory down here at the bottom of the screen and it tells you whether or not uh, or what your status is with the quick test exam. Everybody has to take a quick test exam to use a quick test more than 10 times. It is free and it's available right on this site on the quick client screen. Now over to remote. Made it very simple and really powerfully packed full of uh, goodies. Choose the remotes that you want to launch. Click on launch remotes and away they go. That's all there is to it. Now, if you want to save them, which I have seven of them saved, they're the ones that I would use with a client when they first come in, click on Save Selections, and it's going to save these as presets. The next time you come in, they'll already be there, and all you got to do is launch uh, or make a few adjustments, whatever, whatever you need to do. Now, Remote management is on the quick client screen. It's a very helpful tool. I don't think it's used um, as widely as it should be. But if you click on remote management, what you're going to get is the management of all of the assessments that are pending, the user accounts, and the completed remote assessments. This is going to be for everybody, not just for the client that you have up. As you can see, mine is totally empty. There's absolutely none in there. And what we're going to do, I don't know if this is going to work because my system blocks pop-ups. We're going to give it a try and see what happens. You probably can't see that. Maybe you can. Well, no, a little bit, but I'm going to come back and I'm sure you can see this again. So we just launched we go to Remote Assessment, Management, and if I refresh this screen, you're going to see that the seven that I just launched are there. You're also going to see that it's created an account. Now, this is different than the main account for the client. If you blow this away, which I'm going to do right now, um, if you blow that account away, it's going to take away all of these assessments and essentially clear out this client. This does not, you know what, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to do that because I want to show you something else. But uh, the client calls you and says they can't remember the password. Go in, click on this. You're going to resend them everything and just delete this account. And that will take care of the fact that they can't remember their password. It won't disturb anything. It won't blow away anything that they've already done. It won't delete their their actual user account. This is just for the remote assessments. Back over on the other side again, you will notice down here it says send a reminder. 
You click on preview email notice, which I can't do because it's going to create a pop-up and you won't be able to see it. Um, click on that and it'll show you the email notice. When you click on send email reminder, it sends a notice directly to the person. It says, hey, you've got outstanding assessments. We need them for your next appointment. So take care of them. Um, you'll notice also on the right-hand side here, the ABCs of Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. The antecedent is the home of origin, inventory, imprints and beliefs, personality, spectrum, cognitive distortions, personal portrait, and consequences, quick test, addictions, and anger diagnostics. We'll be getting into this more as I get back into the uh, ABCs of CBT, and we're going to go through each of these assessments and show how they uh, line up with the uh, cognitive behavioral model. And we're also going to look at uh, some, especially stuff in this section here, uh, much more deeply than the rest of them. Consequences are just fallout from things that are happening in here. And you really can't fix, you can put a band-aid on this stuff here, but you can't fix it until you get after this stuff in the middle. So we're, especially we're going to look at uh, personality spectrum and look at what's really going on there with a lot of people. You'll become an expert. I'll probably put up some uh, assessments for you to do an exam. Won't cut you out of using it, but uh, it'll show that you know what, what you're doing with it. One final thing, quick test, cognitive distortions, which is a CBT assessment, and uh, PSA should all be administered on a, uh, a rather frequent base. I think PSA is set to 30 days and cognitive and, and quick tests, I think, are set for two weeks. And you get this red notice here. It's, it's not going to stop you from doing anything, but it's just telling you, hey, this set of results is, is kind of old. Um, and that's about all there is to this. If you've got any questions, any difficulties, any uh, other suggestions, let me know.